everyone, I'm sharing with you how to make a neck pillow. The, you can use that for your when you travel or in the bed, for your bed or for your car. Yeah. I have the paper here that I'm gonna take a, cut out a template. The size is 8 inches by 15 inches long. And I'm going to fold a long way in half. And then from that, you're gonna fold another time. So make sure everything lie up. And now this is the two fold right in front of me and the big fold is right on the left. And here you go on to mark three inches on the big fold. From the side on the right here, you go on to mark one inch. So I'm going to go from here like that, curl that area and it going up to here. From the side in, you go on to make sure I forgot to tell you that. So you make sure you go on in about like three inches right here, the right in about three inches. So you go on to stop right there, like this curve, all the way to the three inches. And then from here, you go on to round this to the one inch. And when you cut, you go on to round it. Make sure. If you have a paper place, if you have a paper place, go ahead and turn this area around. Or if you have, if you get the ruler last time, when I shared in my description, and make sure you go on to here, at the three inch and the one inch, you go on to connect that first. Turn the ruler until you see the line in meet. And then you go on to round this area first. And then after that, you go on to turn this ruler this way. Turn this ruler this way. And then you go on to start round this area. Just like so. And then move the ruler. And at the end right here, don't curl, just go straight out. You're done, you're gonna open it and you're going to see this is the template for your your pillow. You're going to find the fabric and you're going to cut three pieces of fabric exactly like this. You don't need to do any extra seam allowance or anything. I'm going to upload in my description so you can download the templates. But when you download, make sure this is the fold, okay? So you fold the fabric and then you place this at, at the fold and then you cut out three. So every one after I cut three, I use the same fabric because I have plenty. So I try, I try to use them all. So I have three of them. One at a time, you go on to fold like that. It's going to be very useful. I'm using one for my car and then I place that. So that the center, the center. You do the second piece and the third, the same. Okay, so after you mark the center, you go, this is only the third one, okay? The other two, you don't have to. You're going to fold this way. Only press on the top here, just for the center. So from the center, you go on to mark out. So it's three inches. This is the center. That way we just mark and from the center to the left is three inches and the center to the right at three inches. And you go into place this in here. And then you go on to sew it this way. Okay, so go ahead and cut up and then sew this together to the fabric. So after I sew this together, and it's together in the middle right here. That's what we're going to do next. The second piece, this is the second one. We're going to place on top of it. Make sure the line that you mark in the center light up nicely, everyone. Very important. Yep. 
you see the elastic right on the side here but in between right in the middle i'm going to leave about two and a half inch okay so it's like right here in the middle i'm gonna leave about two and a half inch right in the middle i'm not gonna sew we're gonna sew starting from the center go all the way all the way to here and stop go into the next one right here go all the way to the center right here and stop so everyone after i sew on this together all the way to here and then i stop right there about an inch away from where i add the elastic and then leave this open and come into here and then sew into here remember i start from the center point when we mark and we stop where it is the second one you're gonna fold it in half this way i'm gonna make sure i put it inside so i don't sew on it so now you can see something like this i'm gonna get the last piece with the third one i play the right side touching the right side and remember the mark that we mark the center and the mark we mark the center have to meet nice there very important remember the first one we the first two pieces that we start from there this one you are going to start to the right from here you are going to sew all the way down to here all the way all the way down to here and stop so let's just slide in here remember the center that's where we go on the sew and i only use i only sew the side of the presser foot right here that touching the side of the fabric that's easy to follow the guy Remember when you turn around, make sure your needle still down on the fabric so your stitch is always straight. Now this is the center, we'll go on there and then we're going to start. You see we sew on this all the way down. We're going to sew the one that we need to, to sew it back on. We did this two right here because it's still open. So we need to sew this two together. You see? Because we sold this, this, this one, this is the last one where we know need to sew it together. From the center here, you're gonna sew all the way down to here and stop. Okay. So everyone after I sew, now you have three like this. Go on to find the opening space that you left um, on one of the side here. Before I inside out, I'm going to go and press. So for this part right here, whatever you decide to sew, it's all up to you. Everybody is different. So if you use, I'm using invisible stitch. Some people call it the ladder stitch whatever stitch you use it's all up to you everyone as long as you feel comfortable you know when you want you when you learn something and you stick with one and you're comfortable with it so stay like that now i'm gonna go and in, inside out
You know what I do? I usually buy a pillow from Walmart. It's much cheaper than you buy in the the thing, the feeling, whatever you call it, the fiber, feeling fiber, whatever. So you, when you feel this inside, you go on to make sure that you go all the corners and everything. Okay. So go ahead and feel this. I remember when I, after I find out I have, um, I'm pregnant with the twin and, um, my mom make pillow for the boy. Oh, so tiny baby one. She makes each of them two, just in case, you know, she know, she have eight of us, so she know. When I have two, and it drives me crazy, but she helped me until she, you know, the last day she left. I used to tell her, and I'm like, I have only two, and I can't handle them, and you have eight of us. And she's like, yeah, I know, but I have a mate. You don't. I'm like, oh. That makes sense. The space that you leave it open is all up to you wherever you want. So make sure you get your hand in and then go to the corners. You know, because day by day, time to, by time, it's going to be like flat. You don't want that. I mean, if flat, you can unstick the, the space and then add some more, but you don't want to do You know, when I sew something like that, I remember if I do something, my mom always like staying beside me or beside us. She did, she taught all of us how to sew, cook and everything. But um, she always staying beside and to make sure everything we do is right. And most of the time my mom taught how to sew, how to cook, embroider, and uh, many things. She knows so much. So if you wonder where I learn from stuff, I just learned from my mom. I didn't go to school for this. Remember this fabric I got from Walmart one time, they put it out so many rows and it's like 99 cents a yard. Now you can go back there and get 99 cents an inch. Everyone, when you, after you fill it in, you make sure the first thing you fill is the corner on with the, with that first. And then you go on around and after that you go on around, make sure everything is good. So I want to go, I'm going to go from the inside of this ball open in space. Inside coming out. And then from here, I'm going to slide the needle on very close to the fold on the right. Actually, I'm going to zoom it in so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to go on the side like that. And I pull. And same thing, same side, same thing in the right across from the, from the left, slide it in like that so now you can see and then you go to right across to the left go to the right left right left right left right but make sure the space is not too far away like this okay like that and now you go into the right and then i show you when you pull you don't really see the the soul light okay so like that my needle are very thin and long. I got this from Walmart. If you go into Walmart, you go to the sewing area and you can see it. It come with um, three of them. They're long and they're thin. Okay, you see that? That's how it look. And the same like that. And when, when you pull it, you see how it is? It's so close like that. So finish the whole thing, everyone. When I get into the end right here, 
slide the needle underneath there and I make a loop and I come up So slide out everyone and then we'll go ahead and cut this Da -da. So now you can see you don't really see the sole line in anything just like that all right this so this is it everyone i am finished you can bring it to the car and right behind your headrest you can hang it there or you can just stretch this and put right behind with your back your lower back this is so cute very easy to do stay safe and take care everyone thank you so much for watching make sure you like share and subscribe and also if you kindly watch the video to the end that would be awesome too support my channel everyone and um just so you know a lot of people put the end here i i don't i don't know maybe they do that for travel and then they hang it's just the same thing of this anyway so you can do that and then you can hang your locust when you travel